What's up dudes? Back at it again with another video. I'm going to be uh, finally putting a front splitter on the 370Z. Uh, Hector just got here. I'm gonna send him on a food run because I haven't ate all day. But I'm finally gonna be installing this bumper. It's currently nighttime, but I do have a shop where I can work indoors. And I do plan to remove the front bumper anyways because uh, I wanna be able to get a little bit of better fitment and fix uh, these little crevices that are all jacked up. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the front bumper and we're gonna go ahead and install the splitter with it off. Uh, and then we'll, from there we will go uh, I hope it doesn't take too long. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hope it won't take more than an hour and a half. Um, and then we'll slap the bumper back on and try to fix it. Alright, so we got the front bumper off. Uh, we're getting ready to open up the splitter and be able to... Um, Mock it up, see what we need to do, cut it if need, and then drill it on. All right, so it comes with some hardware. So this is the Street Arrow, uh, the diffuser for the 370Z, and this is plastic. So um, it's really thick, actually. Uh, if you guys want to look, it's actually really thick. It's pretty. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of heavy. It has the Street Arrow logo on the front and the middle, uh, and then the two uh, little like kind of canards that stick up. Uh, little fins. Okay, so uh, this is where I gotta make a reasonable decision because if I make it stick out too much, it's gonna be hell. These are the canards that I bought for the car. They're on Amazon for like 15 bucks. If I can find the link, I'll put it uh, in the description. But I got them in a silver just because um, there's silver decals on the car. <laughs> this is kind of where we want it. Uh, coming out about two and a half inches from the front. I don't want to pull it out too much because um, it could possibly hit more than I am. Well, it will already hit more than I am. But we're gonna go check his to see how much his is sticking out. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think yours, oh yeah, I think we're definitely. Lot, dude, look. Here. You're one, you're one and three quarters here. And then here you're easily like two and a half. Yeah, two and a quarter. Yeah, then, so then, like, then I got a little thinner right there. Wait. My two and a quarter is probably gonna be. But thing is, like my bumper, like as you can tell, my bumper goes in in the middle. And yeah. That's why I get a lot more out right there, yeah. less on the side. Right, I think we're good. Alright, so we went ahead and uh, of course put the lip on the floor and then uh, put the bumper on top. Uh, we figured out where the holes we wanted. Uh, we marked them, spaced them out. Uh, we were, uh, the kit comes with twelve. Um, bolts and uh, nuts uh, we used 11 and we'll have one extra one in case we need it you can see the little holes um, and those are lined up with these these little holes that are over here uh, right there right there right there we made these holes uh, we didn't run through through these because um well technically those are supposed to go to your under shroud but I don't even have one. <laughs> oh, we're not running it through those and because they're super close to the edge and he told me if we run it there we could run the risk of the tabs the tab. breaking. Um, and this car is infamous with broken tabs so we're gonna stay away from that. We're gonna go ahead and put it up, bolt uh, that on there to this, to the bumper, and then we're gonna um, start marking up the canards. All right, so we got it uh, mounted on here. Uh, it's finally bolted all the way up on the bumper. We're gonna slap the canards. I'm gonna have mine attached right here and then uh, right there. So on both sides. So it comes out a little bit. Kinda extends them all the way out, but um, it's still not completely all the way out, but it does extend them quite a bit on each side. All right, we got the last one. <laughs> Where's Clay? <laughs> he pulled it out of his drawer. Yeah, yeah, All right, drawer All right so we finally got these uh, rods mounted. We're finishing that one. We're gonna put it back on the core. 
All right, so so we just finished the install. Uh, it's dark in here, so you can't really see it. We're gonna head over to go get something to eat, and I'll show you guys there. But overall, the process took what two and a half hours, probably two and a half hours. And we cut it, uh, made all the holes, lined it up, the rods, everything, everything. And this was actually really easy, just a little more time consuming because you had to do all the fabrication. But it came out pretty well. Uh, I'll show you guys here in a bit uh, once we get to, wa to Whataburger. So that's what it looks like. We are at Whataburger now. Comes out not too much, which is good. It's kind of what I wanted. Because I'm not trying to scrape more than I already am. She looks good. She looks good. So that's going to uh, wrap up this video. It took us about two and a half hours and it was pretty easy. Just took a little bit of time. But she's done. You guys can make your decisions whether you guys want some splitters or not. My rods are a little wider than a lot of people's um, but I like the way it looks like his are standing a little more straight up but I like the way it looks so we're done see you guys later